So I'm going to do a quick get ready with me, uh, literally a get ready with me because I have to head to an appointment. I have like <clears throat> 45 minutes to actually get ready, but that includes um, getting dressed and actually getting there. So um, clean face, obviously. I'm going to start with a primer. I'm using Revolution Pro. Um, I got this at Ulta and it was super cheap. I want to say it was like maybe 10, not even dollars. Um, so very affordable and so far I've been loving um, how it keeps the makeup set and uh, the feel of it. It's not tacky or anything like that. It actually smooths out the skin. I do do, I do do. I do two pumps um, of it, which is because also I'm a psycho when it comes to primer. But for the most part, I think one pump would be enough for everybody. Um, today, I'm going to use for foundation, I'm going to use the, um, what is this, Maybelline? Maybelline? I think so. Anyways, the uh, Infallible Pro Glow, because uh, I do want a little bit of a glow. I'm also using my phone as my mirror. So this is going to be interesting. I've never actually put my makeup on with a mirror. I mean, with a phone, with a mirror. Uh, I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill foundation brush. It's number JH03 from her own personal collection. Uh, super dense, really soft. So let's go ahead and see. And this you're really just supposed to buff all over. And I'm not used to buffing, like these circular motions really freak me out. I'm used to stippling, but we'll see. Also, the way I see my makeup on camera is typically different than how it actually is. I may grab a, um, a mirror in a little bit to actually see how this is going on and applying. Also, sorry for the silence, but we still haven't figured out how to edit and like put songs in in between me talking. So we'll get there. We'll get there. I'm hoping that I can actually um, upload this while I'm at my appointment. Because I know it's been a long while since I've actually posted a video. But you know, been a bit in a funk. Haven't felt inspired. But I think we are coming out of it, guys. We're at the tail end of this funk. Yay! I always, always, always put it on my eyes. Okay, yeah, I need a mirror. I can't do this shit. Excuse me. Oh my. Yeah, I like it. Wow. Yeah. Uh, 10 out of 10 recommend. Then for concealer, I'm going to do the It Bye Bye Under Eye. I love this thing. Super thick, so you don't need a lot. Um, if you really don't have dark circles. I, on the other hand have some heavy dark circles yay team no sleep you're welcome and then i'm gonna take where's my small one little one and this i do just like tap it out I don't know what I'm gonna do with my eyes. So I don't know if I'm gonna go for a natural look or something a little bit more done up. I have no idea. I'm also doing this in front of a window. So if you see the light change, it's obviously 
because the sun is doing shit and clouds are doing shit. Back. I'm setting it with none other than the Morphe Brightening Under Eye um, Setting Powder. It's been my favorite one so far that doesn't actually change the color underneath the eye, keeps it bright. There is like a slight pink tint to it in the bottle, but once it goes on the skin, I won't notice it. Since I used a Pro Glow foundation, I'm not gonna set the rest of my face. I'm gonna keep it um, natural, like this. Um, I kind of don't like it because after a while, like throughout the day, the foundation does get a little tacky, especially in um, humid weather. But I don't have a crazy day planned. Anyways, okay. So then, excuse me. Excuse me. Taking the Morphe. Excuse me. Blush palette. do this one and this one and because I want a more natural look I am just tapping it on and I can stand to use a little bit more try to keep it sort of just where you would get a sunburn or like oh my gosh super hot out Or like a cute voice flirting with you, you're like blushing, you're like, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> then take a little bit and up here, because you know like the sun hits you up here too. And the sun hits you there. There, yeah. Enough blush, Andy. Ugh. Then I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild baked highlight. You're welcome. You are very welcome. some foundation on my eyebrows so I'm just gonna take a pencil um, Anastasia of Beverly Hills something like that the brow whiz and I'm just gonna quickly put some lines in them just to recolor them in and define them again I forgot my makeup wipes so I'm not gonna get up now to go get them to wipe off this foundation And I'm just doing hair strokes up. And that's it. Look at it from different angles too because the light will catch some like bald spots. And that's happened to me, like, I walked out of the house and I completely forgot, like, an entire chunk. for the lighting that should be the name of my channel sorry for the lighting because all I do is apologize for poor lighting 
We got it, guys. We got it. You guys are still asking me, what are you going to name your channel? Well, now we know. Oh, awkward silence. Don't you love it? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna set my face real quick. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know which one to use. Mm. I'll use, we're at 11 minutes, okay. This from Melt Cosmetics called Impulsive. This shit's just insane. Can you see that? Jesus Christ. Beautiful. All right, so big ass fluffy brush. I'm gonna pick up, I'm not gonna be able to show you guys, but I'm essentially sticking with this color over on this side and these two down here. So use your imagination. <laughs> so the bottom one, Start in the corner and I just buff it out. I'm not doing a transition shade or anything like that, obviously. I'm trying to do a more of a solid color, but solid color blending at the end with another color. Makes zero sense, but it does to me in my mind, so. It's just insane how much color was picked up and spread out in just one little dab. I know I've mentioned it before how I actually like do my eyes pretty sloppy and then I kind of like clean them up at the end. Um, this is 500% one of those techniques where I'm literally just smearing color all over my lid. Then I'm gonna get that orangey shade at the top that I showed you. And I'm doing the same thing. Same exact thing, covering the same space. And it's really just to like enhance the color that I already put on and give it a dimension. All right, so we are almost 15 minutes. Not bad. The only thing I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to do with you guys here, and I'll do it right here, the mirror next to me, is my eyeliner because I can't turn this the way I want to. I'm gonna wipe off the brush a little bit because it has darker shades on it. Um, 
and I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade, which is that mustardy yellow. I love that color. All right, I'm gonna pick some up. See, look at that, beautiful. And this, I'm really just keeping out here in this corner. And then I'm gonna bring it up a little bit past where I've been blending. I'm gonna get a smaller brush. Should I do this one? No. This one. And sort of kind of repeat what I just did, but now on the bottom, but I'm gonna have to do it over here. And I start underneath my lash line and my water line see and then I'm gonna get another fluffy brush to just blend it just so it's not harsh do it again that brush and then I'm gonna go in with a bigger fluffy brush get the yellow and blow out my lower lash line I know sorry about the the lighting And that's really just to get it all to like blend together. I love it. Same thing over here. Now, I'm gonna do my eyeliner. And I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to do it over here, so. I have like a little mirror here. Please come out the same, please come out the same. This one's already different. God bless it. Okay. All right. So now, let's then... So when that happens, I then turn the mirror face forward, like completely straight on. So I can get a better view of what I just messed up on and how I can even out the two. So, completely different, super cute. Hold on, right here. So 
one here. Bring it over. Color it in. Okay, so this felt tip is drying out and it's dragging, so it's pissing me off. And then this is just where you say fuck it and stay home. this part right here right here all right all right jesus not what i wanted since this beautiful eyeliner is bigger than i wanted i'm gonna go back into that palette and i'm gonna get um, the, ooh, the dark, it's like a darkish purple and I'm going to mix it with an orange and I'm going to do my waterline and that'll just have to be a pop of color that I was not planning on. It pretty much changes this look completely. There we go. Hmm. Then mascara. And we are at 24 minutes. Yes. I'm going to use a primer. Oh, and then I'm going in with the Voluminous. What is this? Uh, L'Oreal Voluminous.
coño. So I got some, but I'll show you what to do when that happens. Um, first of all, let it dry completely, like a thousand percent let it dry. Because once it dries, you can go in with a Q-tip and start rubbing it and it'll just like flake off. Sometimes, depending how much I get on there, I have to dip the Q-tip in the eyeshadow color that it fell on top of once it dries of course and then i'll go in there and start rubbing it off um that way i'm also depositing color and not taking anything away just a few tips and tricks i'm sorry but the power of makeup is phenomenal absolutely phenomenal okay mm. Actually, now I'm going to go in with um, Great Lash. Sorry for the mess behind me. Oh, I'm not sorry. I don't care. And then for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild Mega Length. I like it because it has a very skinny, skinny brush that um, really separates. And sometimes if my mascara gets a little too clumpy, um, I'll go back in with this one to like brush the lashes out and unclump them. And it actually works and it doesn't re-clump them because that happens a lot. Like when you keep going in with mascara, certain mascaras, I guess the formula plus the wand, re-clump them in a way that's just like, you just want to rip off all your eyelashes and never wear eyelashes again. All right. And we're done. I don't know what lip I'm going to wear yet. I have no idea. Anyways, 28 minutes. Holy cockatoli. Not bad for completely butchering my... Um... Oh, that's right. Q-tip. So, get the Q-tip. You just lightly start flaking it off and you're done hello hello anyways okay bye